Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm sure you won't see this cool effect of a view shimmering while loading something from a remote server. Today, let's see how to build this. First, let's see what we have. So, I have here a simple uh, Swift UI view which loops through um, some uh, users coming from uh, its view model. And uh, we call here a fetch user uh, from that view model. And for the view model we have, it is quite simple, we have just uh, one method that is going to load uh, some users from this uh, remote URL, decode the data and uh, store it uh, to a user array that will trigger that view to change. So let's uh, build and run to see the state. You can see here the request is quite fast and uh, we don't have the time to see that uh, view shimmering like uh, we saw previously. So now um, let's add this shimmering effect. Uh, so for that uh, you can build something your own or go to uh, GitHub and uh, download or integrate into your project uh, uh, shimmering library and this is what I've done. Uh, I went to this uh, repo and uh, it is a quite simple uh, Swift UI uh, modifier uh, that will give you the shimmering effect through a modifier and I went to the um, to this file and uh, just copy this file and uh, paste it uh, into my project and it is right here and this is actually what I'm going to uh, to use for this demo now let's see how to add uh, this shimmer effect right here into our view so um it is quite simple so you just need uh, to uh, add the shimmering modifier and let's see what we will have yeah this view is loading uh, the users from the remote server and this shimmery but this is not the effect we want right we want that view to uh, to have this shimmering effect while loading this list of users. I'm going to uh, remove this shimmering modifier and uh, in the view model you can see that uh, I've add um, is loading uh, published properties that will keep track of uh, the loading state uh, for this uh, fetch user. Now I need to show uh, some data while this uh, loading is uh, set at true, right? Uh, how we are going to do that is that I'm going to add uh, a simple array inside uh, my user and uh, I'm going to say that uh, uh, this user array is equal to that set of data while this loading is at true. And, uh, when we have uh, something from coming from uh, our server, it is going to mutate that uh, user. Let's add this. I'm going to paste some code. And it is just a sample data of this uh, user model, right? And now I can just say here that uh, it is equal to sample, right? Or should I say user that sample? right and now uh, while loading we can see we'll see that okay it is quite fast so uh, we are definitely going to add uh, some uh, delay as well so that uh, we can see what is going on okay um i'm going to uh, sleep for uh, four seconds just to see uh, this uh, user data here Let's build and run. Okay, so we can see this user data for four seconds. And uh, once we get something from the server, it is going uh, to replace uh, those fake data. We're on the right track. Now we need just to uh, animate this uh, fake user data while uh, loading. And it is quite simple. Here we can have a NIF statement. So uh, here we can uh, just have an if statement 
um, with these two states. So if uh, it is loading, we can uh, see that uh, we have that user row with a shimmering uh, effect. Uh, otherwise, uh, we just uh, remove that shimmering effect. Let's build and run and see that. Yeah, so you can see that it is uh, shimmering, right? for uh, about four seconds but uh, this is not uh, exactly what i want i don't want to see that uh, data i'm going to build and run again i don't want to see uh, those user data because it is fake right what we need to do is just to add that uh, redacted uh, modifier from swift to ui now let's build and run and see the result Voila, much better, right? So we have uh, this uh, this beautiful effect, right? Those fake data that are redacted, and after four seconds, our um, request is going to fire, and uh, it is quite fast. Uh, it is going to replace that uh, fake data. So far, so good. Let's come back to our view and see if uh, there is uh, an enhancement we can make, and definitely uh, there is i don't want this uh, if else inside my view so i'm going to uh, create a modifier uh, that will uh, take care of uh, this kind of logic and i've already prepared a redacted shimmer um, file and i'm going just to pass some uh, code here and what we are going to do is to um, to have this uh, modifier and this modifier inside we have just a condition okay and for that condition if that condition is match uh, we redact that uh, view and uh, we add this uh, shimmering effect otherwise we only uh, show that um, uh, the content now if we come back here we can just say now uh, rather than having this i'm just going to say okay uh here now uh it is redacted shimmer and for the condition it is view model that is loading right let's build and run and see the final result now and voila we have exactly uh, what we had uh, previously that view is going uh, to load for four seconds with this uh, beautiful shimmering effect let's build and run again and for about six, uh, four seconds it is going to load that view so here it is let's make a quick recap of uh, what we've done so far we first add uh, some uh, fake data uh, we want to load in our view model then uh, we add this uh, is loading that will uh, keep track of the loading status of the data here don't forget to reset that data actually users equal empty array so you don't want to uh, show that uh, fake data when you encounter an error right and uh, last we add this redact schema uh, modifier uh, that is going to show the animation uh, with a condition and our condition here is uh, the loading status and we can see that uh, it is quite a simple uh, modifier with a if else uh, condition so let's build and run again to see that result once again and uh, voila let me know in the comment down below if you want to see uh, more swift ui uh, tips and tricks and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as always i'll see you in the next one bye